Uh, like I said, we've been doing smoke testing at the sanitary sewer system. We started in uh, fiscal year uh, 14. We did 60 miles then. We did 60 miles last year. July 1st, we start the next uh, 60 miles. And then the last year, we do 120 miles. And how and does that, what does that tell you? Okay, uh, smoke testing is, uh, and, well, what, this is what it tells us. The first two years, we had 254 defects on private property where smoke was coming out of the ground. And you got a picture of that that shows yeah. an example. That's a clean out that's got one. It's a, a cross connection, probably on a stormwater system. But we had 254 defects on private property. 14 sections of sewer pipe identified as uh, having defects, which resulted in us to use a uh, two in place pipeline, reline the pipe for pipe within a pipe. We did 3,820 feet of that. And then we had 55 manholes with defects and they've all been we identified good. joints that have been separated, yeah. holes, cracks, breaks, anything the smoke would be able to it, come It's up great for lines that aren't real deep. If, if, and we got pipe, you know, large diameter pipe, 15, 18, 24, that's real deep. It's 20, 27 feet down. Smoke won't penetrate the ground from that depth. But in we, those cases, you're like TV and those That's cases. the second phase when we do CC. And any any time when they detect, when they, uh, like in this pipe section, when they detect, uh, they find a defect in it. Before they line it, they actually run a camera through it, <clears throat> they clean it, and then they, we see what condition of the pipe is to see if it can be lined with a good place liner. We're doing a section right now over on uh, <clears throat> behind Meadowbrook as well as Park Lane. We, we, had to, we had to do four point repairs before we could do the good uh, place line. Explain what CIPP is. Cured in place pipe. What it is, it's, it's, a, it's almost like folded in half. It's a very flexible. It's on the back of a trailer truck. What they do is they run it, they do a pump around. On, you do it while your sewer is active. They actually pump from one manhole to another. Uh, and they have two manholes in between. They insert that, uh, that plastic liner. It's got a resin. It's almost like a felt. And it goes from one manhole to the next. Then they plug the up, the end is plugged. They inject a high pressure steam in that, it expands it, and it causes that resin to form a high pipe. So it's 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 pretty neat when you see it. They just feed it, and then they go down to the next manhole, do the next section, the next section. But the key is you got a CCTV these lines, full circuit television, a camera that goes down the line, and make sure you don't have any collapsed sections or buckle section of your pipe before you do that. And when we do that, we have to go and do point repairs. We, we do contracts for point repairs to get those fixed so they can come in and line it afterwards. But it's a pretty unique product. It's been around for a long time. So when you're done with all this, all this, the storm water will totally be separate from? Well, we'll get there. <laughs> this is what we're finding so far. We can only, you know, we've got, and you'll see in the plans, that's the goal. Small okay. testing finds, your shallow lines, your, your service lines. We sent out 254 letters to residents identifying that they need to get a plumber out to fix their lines, off for a clean out. And with the one with missing, you know what a sewer clean out gap is? We replaced them the first time. But we, we sent them a letter that said we replaced them for free the first time. Some of them were busted, we couldn't replace them. So those who caught letters, or if they had a busted sewer ladder coming out from the house, they got a letter saying you gotta get a plumber out and fix that. That's a code violation. <clears throat> so we got started in our next 60, and we tried to focus on the first two years at the points we saw, we thought we had the most problems. Uh, probably this year we're going to get a lot of downtown, which we know there's going to be problems. We actually did a block downtown before we started this work, because we had uh, odors coming up in buildings, and we found several leaks in an alleyway, we found smoke coming out of a, a Georgia Power Junction box, and it went up the condor, went up into the building, it was coming into the building. So it's, it's a pretty neat nice, process. You do, we do all, do all hangers and everything, notify people, you know, uh, 24, 72 hours in advance, they're going to be out there so they don't allow them to notify the fire department. Because if they
they get called, we notify them. Uh, I mean, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And again, we're ahead of schedule. We were given five years to do this. We're, we're going to have to do it in four. Years. So we're doing 60, 60, 60, and then the last year we're doing two years' work. And so. part of this, we've got to realize when you look at the immensity or the amount of work that's being done and the funding that's to it, you can't do it all at once. Right. You can only do so much each time. Next slide. 